Well, hey guys, it's Josh here, just checking in. Uh, I know I missed an upload last week, Don't need, no need to remind me or anything like that. But anyways, uh, it, it certainly has been a while since I've done a video like this, right? Uh, you know, uh, I was on the Linux cast last week, and uh, you know, somebody thought it was a great idea to uh, give us a challenge to install a distribution and then make a video about it. So this is my obligatory video of this, and I've been using this distro. Unfortunately, I am not able to use it on my desktop system, which is my daily driver system. So instead, I installed it on my laptop. And uh, that's mostly due to hardware compatibility and me not wanting to tear, tear a machine apart just to make a machine compatible. But anyways, uh, I installed a uh, distribution that uh, is called Crunchbang++. And uh, it is an interesting experience. Uh, let's just go over here to my desktop. Uh, so I'm actually capturing this on my laptop. So uh, that, that's what you're seeing right now. But uh, it's a it is a Debian based distribution. Uh, let's pull out a uname here. Uh, yep, uh, that is a 510 kernel. I don't know if I installed NeoFetch. I did install NeoFetch. So yes, we do have. It is De Debian uh, stable based. Which, if you know, I'm using an Arc GPU on a Intel 12th Gen system with a network chip that not even the 510 kernel on Debian supports. So uh, I would have to get very creative in how to how to get things working. As in, uh, rip out my GPU, uh, I and either live with uh, only one monitor or uh, go out and. Sp buy a GPU that I really don't want to buy right now. But anyways, uh, Crunchbang as a distribution has been around for a while and it's a, it's a bit of a known commodity in like, uh, in like the window manager scene for, especially like if you're a fan of open box, which, uh, this is the open box window manager. Uh, it, uh, it is lightweight. It is wonderful. And uh, this is about what you see is what you get. The only thing I really added here was I added two additional workspaces. But other than that, I haven't done anything to this. Uh, you still have the right-click menu, which is probably about the, the the biggest feature of Openbox is that it has this wonderful right-click menu you can put basically anything into. Uh, but uh, I went through and I, and I went looking for, like, what makes this distro unique. And, uh, well... For one thing, this terminal is actually a Terminator. And, uh, or at least I think it is, because, uh, I haven't quite figured out how to, like, make text bigger. I don't think you can. Uh, let's see, control shift, page up, page down, no, plus, minus, oh. Okay is actual plus symbol. All right. All right. So, yeah. Uh, if I go into the uh, .config folder here, into open box, and I open up uh, the rc.xml and find out that vim is not installed, so then I have to use nano, which Nano is fine, I guess. Matt's been living in it. He can give you a better judgment of Nano than I can. Uh, this is the the ever so famous cancerous uh, open box configuration. You know what? There's actually a different text editor that comes in involved in this system. So uh, hit Alt F3 because uh, they ship Genie. Which I assume is the text editor they want you to use. So uh, we'll use this one. So, yeah. Uh, finding the key bindings is always a bit of a pain. Okay, so. Uh, just looking at the key bindings here. Uh, you can see Alt F2 uh, opens up the run program dialog. Which it which if you can see that, is GM run. So if I hit Alt F2, that's what this is. This is GM run right here. 
and I can open up uh, Firefox and it does support tab completion so I can open up Firefox or Firefox ESR. Uh, and uh, yep so I can do that and if I do alt F3 that opens up a DM menu a D menu bind which is D config D menu D menu bind sh so what we'll do is uh, open up a terminal again And then what we'll do is just uh, go into doc con well nano doc config d menu and d menu bind which is just a shell script uh, executes d uh, d menu with all these wonderful options which uh, if you've ever scripted d menu before you've probably done something like that before so not nothing important there uh, it's just puts d menu on the bottom and gives it a black and white color scheme. Uh, as for like any modifications that they've done to it, I don't really know for with any certain certainty myself. And then one thing I did notice is that they have Conky installed, uh, but it do it's not enabled in the startup menu. So I, I just went ahead and launched it here and it does show off uh, a few of the key bindings here on the side, which uh, the only th the only applications I've installed on this has has been uh, Bit Bitwarden, which is my password manager, and uh, Discord, so I can talk to the Linux cast while uh, I'm uh, to the Linux cast team while I'm on this. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, switching Windows, Control Alt Left Right. Uh, there is no shortcut by default to uh, jump between the windows. And, uh, you know, it's interesting that they've got two different run launchers of D-Menu and GM Run. I think that the reason why they have D-Menu here is so you can mess around with the D-Menu scripts. And then you're primarily expected to use uh, D-Menu Run. I would assume. But then again, uh... But then again, they've also got a fully populated menu here too. Which I understand that a menu sometimes is useful to have. But when it comes to something like open box, I don't actually want to use the desktop right click menu as like a desktop application launching menu. I'd rather just have I'd rather just make a unique menu for that myself. So uh it's cool that they got all this and you know they've got Thunar which is an which is a more than acceptable file manager. And Super E for editor, which launches Genie. And then Alt F4 to open, well, to close windows. And then, uh, so this is where it gets a little interesting here. Uh, the lock screen, so if I sit here and I engage it, just Super L, immediately turns the screen off. And I go to shake the mouse, and it pulls up X screensaver as, as a screensaver, which is pretty cool. And then, let's see here, it's Super X. Uh, Super X will pull up this uh, this uh, dialog here, so let's just uh, go ahead and give this a reboot real quick. Although, now that I think about it, I probably should have logged out. Hmm. Yeah, probably should have logged out, but whatever. Uh, just give me a second here to get this pulled back up. Type in my encryption password here. Okay. So this is a login daemon that they're using. Uh... I think it's slim. I might be wrong on this. But there's a way we can verify this real quick. So, just get logged in real quick. It's either going to be slim or light DM. And I am 
almost convinced that it's slim. And we're going to find this out live. So the easiest way to find this out, especially if you're in a system, it happens to be system D, is you can cat slash Etsy system D system and then display manager dot service. That'll sim link to whatever your active display manager is. So if I just uh, cat it out, it is LXDM. Which is an acceptable display manager, login manager, whatever you want to call it. I don't know how well supported it is these days. I, I think it's the Raspberry Pi Foundation that's probably supporting it, supporting it the most. But yeah, uh, it, yeah. I was supposed to stick it out with this distro for, for about the week, and I think I was supposed to make a video about it, so I'm making a video about it. Overall, for this system, I mean, it looks nice. Not gonna say, not gonna argue with that. But, uh, I think I don't like the, uh, the workflow for it. Like, uh, I've done an open box video in the past and I basically showed you guys how I use open box and the key binding scheme on this system alone is not to my preference. So, uh, I'm going to be messing around with a bunch of key bindings after this and, uh, get it to operate a little bit closer to what I want to. And then, uh, we're probably going to get rid of D menu and GM run because I don't really use either of them because I prefer Rofi. But that's just, but that's just me being me. Anyways, guys, uh, CrunchBank++, Plus Plus, pretty cool distro. It's a very opinionated distro compared to what, what I would run. But, uh, it works. It's as snappy as most, op most open box distros normally are. Yeah, that's about it. But anyways, guys, uh, I guess I'm supposed to say it's just supposed to like and subscribe. Or uh, you're supposed to like the button. That way you can watch my videos in the future. And then subscribe because that apparently helps with the YouTube algorithm. I might be a little wrong on that. But if you want to get in contact with me, I know that you're all filthy stalkers. So if you go to uh, that link, that uh, probably going to be about the second or third link in the description. Uh, where, it's, where it says 10 slash stalker. That's how you can find me. That is, I've made it easier for you. You click that link, it gives you all the other links to everywhere that I am. That's all my places. The only thing that's not on there is my phone number. <laughs> my phone number and I guess my mailing address too. I, I guess I could put my mailing address on there, but uh, I'm not going to put my mailing address on there. Uh, if uh, you want to say contribute to me, there's a sponsors link in that, in that same description below as well. Anyways, guys. I'm out.